Hello, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to do a chimpanzee. Thank you, Ashley, for the suggestion. Um, what you need for this project is a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, and an eraser. So put me on pause, gather up your supplies, and join me back here. All right, let me move my guide there. You are going to use... You're going to use your pencil. I'm going to use a marker so that you can see what I'm doing better. Let's start in the top section of your paper and let's draw a square. You're going to get your whole arm going from your shoulder. Draw a line across the top, down the side, and across. Your square is going to be about this size. You'll notice as I'm drawing, I'm going over and over my shape. Um, if you haven't done one of these with me before, we go around and around and around, and in the long run, we switch over to our marker and we trace over our favorite shape. Um, so, our favorite line, I should say. So don't worry too much at this point about making things look perfect because they're not going to. Next up. Let's draw a little oval on top of that square. Get your whole arm going from your shoulder. Move your arm, get the shape going. Once you have it, put your pencil down and go around and around and around a few times and you'll end up with a really nice oval at the top of your square. Let's go over to the side. Let's add in another oval. We're gonna tilt it out just a little bit, like that, at an angle. Inside that oval, let's draw another oval, just like that. Go over to the other side. Let's do the same thing on that side. Get your whole arm going from your shoulder and draw in a nice oval about that size. And inside that, another oval just like that let's add in some connecting shapes here let's draw a little triangle to connect that oval with that oval I'm just gonna draw a triangle that's gonna live right at the top there to get that shape I'm doing a couple things for the top part I'm planting my arm from my elbow and I'm moving my hand back and forth and back and forth then I'm moving my hand, doing the same thing, back and forth and back and forth. And so I don't tilt my paper and mess up my view for you guys. I'm moving up top there, moving my hand, and then moving my fingers back and forth and back and forth. If you can only draw a triangle moving your paper, move your paper, get comfortable. This is your drawing. Okay, so let's add in another triangle on the other side, add in another triangle to connect those shapes. Can you guess what this is going to be? Maybe the top part of our chimpanzee's head? I think so. Okay, let's go down from there. We are going to add a circle right here. It's going to be about this big. So get your arm going from your shoulder. Go around and around a few times and then set your pencil down when you get a good shape. It'll end up being about that big. Okay? From there we're going to add some series of ovals and circles for the inside of our chimpanzee's face. So up at the top, where we had that square, we're gonna draw an overlapping oval here and another one here, about the same size as we did the inside of that ear. It's gonna live right about there. And again, the same thing on the other side. Right about there. If I'm going too fast for you, Feel free to pause me, catch up, rewind, replay it, whatever you need to do to uh, get, get your shapes going. But when you hit play, I'll be right here and you can play it over and over as many times as you need to get your chimpanzee drawn. Okay, next up, we are going to do some eyes. Our eyes are going to be made up of one, two, three bigger circles. So we're going to do 
one bigger circle. It's going to be about that big, just like that. And then we're going to move over to the other side. Let's draw that same big circle on that side. Nice big circle. See how mine, I'm going around and around. I've got some lines on the outside, some lines on the inside. We're not worrying about that so much right now. We are going to um, find our favorite lines a little bit later on, but for right now, we're just drawing in the larger shape. From there, let's go inside and draw the actual eye. We're going to draw one big circle like that. I guess it would be one littler circle like that. Same thing on the other side, right in the middle of that big circle you just made. Another circle. As you're going around and around, you're moving your whole arm from your shoulder. And uh, your shapes won't be perfect. Mine are not perfect. Yours will not be perfect. And that is okay. Art is perfectly imperfect. Your lines are going to make it your drawing. Um, let's draw another circle in between these two circles. It's going to live right about here. I'm getting my whole arm going from my shoulder. And when I'm in that space I want to be, I set my pencil down just like that. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. That can be our code. All right, now let's go inside that circle. Let's add a little circle. For this one, I'm planting my hand at my wrist, resting this part of my hand on the paper. And I'm doing the same thing with my fingers this time, some small motor movements. Moving my fingers, tracing around in that shape, and when I arrive at it, I set them down. Can you guess what that's going to be? Let's do that. Same thing on the other side. And then off to the side of that, I'm going to do another one. Round and around, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Round and around, just like that. Let's add in an arc that goes over top of that circle. It's going to live about like there. How I'm doing that is I'm planting my hand at my wrist and then setting my pencil down and I'm letting that natural curve of my wrist help me determine where that arc is going to fall. You're not sketch, sketch, sketching. You're just kind of moving your whole hand for that. Let's give ourselves a few guides. Right now we're going to go right above that arc. Let's draw a little arc that's a little bit darker on that bigger circle that we made. Just like that. You're doing so good. Okay, from there, let's go down and do the nose and the mouth. We are going to do a circular shape here. It's going to live right in between those eyes and be about that big. Just like that. At the base of that circle, we are going to add in an oval. Just like this. You're doing so good. And then we're going to add in another circle. It's going to overlap both of those. Just like that. And then we're going to add in a larger oval. Now this oval is going to go all the way back where we were for that first circle and come all the way down and around. That oval will be our chin of our chimpanzee. It's going to be kind of bigger. So it's going to be about the width of that tilted oval. You're going to make that oval that size. Okay, let's add in two more little guides for ourselves. We're going to put a little circle here and a little circle here in the corners of our square that we first drew. A little one there and the little one there. And then we just need to add the nose, and we are done with all of our shapes. The nose is going to live right about here, and you're just going to draw a little triangle, about like that, right in the center of that circle. In between those eyes, you're going to draw a triangle. To get that triangle shape, I'm doing that same thing where I plant my wrist and I move my hand. You can also get closer and move your fingers. On either side of that triangle, we are going to do a little oval there, 
and a little oval here, just like that. And up from that triangle, we're going to put one little line there and one little line there. Believe it or not, those are all the shapes that we are going to need. Oh, hold on, one more. Off to the side of our ear, let's do one line. I'm planting my arm at my elbow, and I'm going to do one little line off the base of that ear, and the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we are really ready to switch over to our marker. Grab your marker. If you don't have a marker, um, you can use a pen. Just any kind of writing utensil that you have that you cannot erase is what you need at this point. Okay, we're gonna start at the top of our chimpanzee's head and we're gonna go from the middle. We're gonna slide around that oval and give our pen a little flick. From here, we're just gonna do little flicks off of those lines heading over toward that ear to show some of that fur. Stop at the ear. Let's go back and do the same thing on the other side. Slide around that oval, little flicks off of those shapes for some fur. Now we're gonna do, let's go in and do some of the face so we know where we want our fur to live on the side. We're gonna go, these ovals that we drew around, the chimpanzees have um, what we, where our eyebrows would be, they have these little areas that stick out just a little bit and help them give their expressions. We're gonna go around a little bit of that oval and then we're gonna lift up our marker, go to the edge and go a little bit around that one. Then we're gonna do the same thing we did at the top down that side of that square, we're gonna just give the indication of some fur. Touch your marker to your line and just give a little flick right off. Just like that, you're doing so good. If you've done these videos with me before, we did this technique on the wolf, we did this technique on the squirrel, we did it, um, what did we draw yesterday? I'm losing track of my days, but I know we did it yesterday. Um, okay. Let's go around and do the same thing on the other side. A little bit around that eyebrow, lift your marker, go over to the other side and put it down. Follow that square down. You've done all the heavy lifting. You've drawn in all the shapes already. So now we are just going over, picking our favorite line, adding in a little fur, headed down. Now where we drew these circles at the base, we're just gonna go around the circles, the edge of those circles with our fur, just like that. Headed in toward that mouth area. And we're gonna stop there. Let's go in and define some of these eyes, this area for the eyes. Let's start with the arc that we drew at the top of the chimpanzee's eye. And let's draw in that arc. I'm gonna make that line nice and heavy. So go over it a few times back and forth with your marker. If you need to stop and take a deep breath, stop and take a deep breath, then join right back in. Let's fill in the inside circle of our eye. There's no right or wrong way to do that. Just go around. And then for this little circle we drew off to the side, that's going to be our highlight. So we are just going to trace all the way around the circle that we drew and we're not going to color it in. We're just going to leave that part white. If you decide when you're done that you want to color this, you'd leave that part white and that could be the highlight of your chimpanzee's eye. Now let's go around, pick your favorite part of that circle that you drew and let's trace around that. My marker is going over several lines and yours might be too. I'll help you get a nice shape. Okay, going up to that arc where we gave that little darker indicator, we're just gonna draw right over that. And on this side, I'm gonna take mine a little further around like that. You can do the same. Um, okay. For these other circles that we drew, these are going to give us indicators and guides for where to put some wrinkles when we're all done. But for now, let's do some bigger shapes and then we'll go back in and uh, add those in, okay? So let's go to the nose area and the mouth area. 
we're going to start at the top of this circle here. And we're just going to go around a little bit of the way. So right about there, slide your marker a little bit around that circle. Okay? Same thing on the other side. Pick a spot, follow it around a little bit of that circle. Then we're going to go that base part. Let's see, let's skip that one. Where we have that oval right here, where it came across the bottom, that can be the top part of our chimpanzee's mouth. So let's give him, actually, you know what? Let's use the circle. Let's go around the base of that circle because that's going to give him a nice smile. Just like that. Give our chimpanzee a nice smile. And I forgot a guide. If you want to, you can switch over um, and add a guide. But I think that you're capable, if you would like to do it without, you can just add in an echo of that arc that we just did and fill in the mouth. If you wanted to add that guide, you would just draw another circle, nice and loose, and then trace over the base of that circle. Go ahead and fill that in. That's going to be our chimpanzee's mouth. Give me a heart if you're having fun and you're able to follow along. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've drawn, so make sure you send me pictures. I haven't got as many pictures in the past few days, so if you're having fun with it, send me your pictures, please. That's my feedback. All right, let's go up to the nose. We are going to trace around the top part of those ovals on each side, just like that. And we're going to add in just a hint of that triangle on the tippy top. Just a little bit of that. You can trace right over those lines you drew. There's going to be some cute little wrinkles for our chimpanzee. Let's go back down to the chin. Oh, I see what I did. We did have that other circle. My mouth just got really big there. It's going to be a nice big... I'll show you. We did have that other circle. That can be... The whole mouth if you want it to be. Let's let that be his lip. Um, we are going to go around that oval and we're just going to add in some little bits of fur around that bigger oval for his chin. I'm going to go about halfway to the middle and then I'm going to go back up to where that oval meets the square and I'm going to follow around. I'm just touching my marker to that line and I'm flicking it out, giving it some nice fur that way. Now I know where my face is going to be, so I can add in that little bit of fur on either side there and add that in. Now let's get to some of this out here. The fur for our chimpanzee is going to come down in front of that ear and it's going to go right along that circle that we drew all the way down to his chin, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Go around that circle that you drew, just flicking your marker out to give that fur shape, just like that, all the way down to the chin. Now we, can, now we know what part of our ear is going to show, so let's trace around the ear. We're going to go the area that's showing on the outside, just like that. And then the area that's showing on the inside. Go over to the other side, add in that same thing. You're tracing around that oval that you drew, three quarters of the way around. Then to the inside, three quarters of the way around there. We're going to add in that little line that we have off of our ear. This is like his shoulders. He's hunching over. If you want to make that furry, you can. Touch your marker down. Give it a little flick. All right. We are ready to add in a few little wrinkles and then we're all done. Um, we are gonna do, you know what, I'm gonna fill this in all the way. My uh, chimpanzee is gonna have a really big smile. I'm curious to see, are, is yours gonna have a big smile? Are you gonna wanna fill that in or were you happy with that littler smile? You can choose. Um, I just made the decision that I wanted it to be. In. I need a big smile today. Okay, 
Let's go up and add in a few of the wrinkles around the eyes. Up where we have these guides, I'm going to add in a few little lines. Some going toward the eye, some around the base of the eye, just like that. If you look at some pictures of some chimpanzees, you'll see they've got all these fantastic little wrinkles. I'm just going to add in a few of those little wrinkles. And then I'm going to go up in between their eyebrows and add in a little line right there. All right, I think we are good. Um, let's take that chin up just a little bit onto his face. Add in a little bit of that fur. All right, add in a few little wrinkles there. Okay, I think we are ready to move to our erasers. Now I drew this with pen so that you could see. So I'm gonna switch back to my guide. Doesn't look quite as messy when you do it with pencil. I'm gonna grab my eraser and I'm gonna erase my guides. What you're gonna do to do that is hold your paper down nice and steady so you don't accidentally flip it up and crinkle it and just go ahead and start erasing all those guides and you are gonna be left with a super cute chimpanzee. I'd like to thank Ashley for the suggestion of a chimpanzee. Um, send me your pictures. Send me your pictures. I can't say it enough. I really want to see what you drew. Send me your pictures and um, comment below on what you would like to do next week. I have a few suggestions that take us, I think, through Wednesday. Um, but if you haven't shared what you want to do yet with me, send that to me. I want to know what you want to draw. If you don't send it to me, I'll pick. And maybe it's not something you want to learn. So send me what you want to draw. Send me your pictures. I hope you are staying home and staying healthy. And I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today. You can find me on Facebook at Rebecca Inc. You can find me online at RebeccaInc.com. If you send me your pictures, you'll find your pictures on RebeccaInc.com under Interact. Um, I have downloadable coloring pages on there and lots of fun things for you to check out. Did you know I designed fabrics? I've got some samples on there of those as well. Um, Instagram at Rebecca Inkabink. Uh, find me on Instagram, follow me, see what I'm up to in my studio. I think later on today I'm going to post I'm almost done with the koala bear so you can see what I've done there. All right, I hope you had fun, and I will see you on Monday. Stay home and stay safe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.